Welcome back. Dorian is still pretty far away, and it's way too soon to tell if it will impact us here, specifically in South Florida, but it's never too early to have a preparedness plan in place, just in case. We know all the usual storm prep tips, like stocking up on water and on perishable foods, a weather radio, and batteries, but today's Lauren's List has a few ideas you might have overlooked in the past that could make riding out the next storm, whenever that may be, just a bit easier. First up, do your laundry. <laughs> yes, I know you usually have a bunch of other things to do before a big storm, but you won't regret having lots of clean clothes at your disposal. And if you lose electricity, you'll be glad that you did this ahead of time. Next up, use unscented candles. Let me preface this by saying use flashlights and lanterns rather than candles whenever possible. But if you must use candles, make them unscented. <laughs> you may love pumpkin spice everything, but the sm smell might drive you nuts after a few hours without power or air conditioning. Next, grab a disposable camera. Remember those? After a storm, you want to save your cell phone battery for important phone calls. No need to waste that precious battery taking photos of damage. Instead, use a disposable camera. It'll also show that your photos have not been altered and your description of the damage is true and accurate. Be sure to take before photos of your valuables for insurance purposes, too. And finally, have bug spray handy. Hurricanes can bring a lot of water and a lot of bugs. Mosquitoes can carry diseases, and they especially thrive in the dampness and humidity of a storm's aftermath. The CDC recommends that you choose an EPA-registered insect repellent to fight them off. Now, this is obviously just a very tiny fraction of what you would actually need to prepare for a storm, but you know, a little extra doesn't hurt. Do you get your supplies at the start of the season or right as a storm threatens? Tell me on Facebook or Twitter. If you have an idea for a future Lauren's List, send it my way too, Maribel.